This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest with us. He is Frank E. Chelly. He is the CEO of BioHitech Global Inc. They trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol BHTG. Frank, thank you and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You know, you guys are in a very interesting space. I've been reading about your company for the last six months. And explain to my listeners what exactly this great product that you have that's, to me, it's revolutionized and it's going to revolutionize the restaurant industry. It's called the digester. What exactly is that? Yeah, our our EcoSafe digester platform is uh, essentially a piece of industrial restaurant equipment that utilizes a combination of mechanical and biological processing of food waste. So the bacteria inside our unit specifically target the solid components of food, such as fats, oils, and greases, and sugars, and proteins. Uh, So it works very much like the human digestive system, and it rapidly will digest those solid components, leaving the liquid portion, which is about 70% of all food waste, Uh, and converts it into a liquid that's safe to discharge down the sanitary sewer system. So, you know, the benefit of that is, you know, restaurants, hotels, or hospitals, or any of our customers have no longer have the need to have food waste carted away uh, and pay the fees associated with that, nor does it end up in landfills or transported hundreds of miles away via uh, inefficient trucks. So the environmental impact uh, is substantial. The cost savings can be substantial, Uh, and what's most exciting about it is not only is it a piece of clean technology, but it also is uh, the first piece of food waste disposal equipment that is a smart digester or smart machine. So in other words, we have come up with the concept that the, uh, the tracking of food waste in real time can be very valuable to the generators. So it can indicate inefficient operations within an organization. It can indif- uh, it can indicate inefficient procurement and whatnot. So our objective is to measure and analyze while using our digesters and provide our customers with information that can help them affect change within the rest of their organization. So make them more efficient uh, because if we can do that, the cost savings that they can realize associated with eliminating the generation of food waste can be 50 times greater than that which they incur to just dispose of it. So it's a pretty pretty neat piece of equipment. You know, how big is this organic food waste? Is it such a large problem? I mean, looking over the whole market, is, is this a big industry? Is it a big market space? How big are we talking? Yeah, it, it's... You know, the way in which we dispose of waste in general in the United States is is a problem. Uh, so we rely very heavily on the disposal of waste in landfills. Which, Absolutely. As you, as you may or may not know, are just giant holes in the ground. So, uh, you know, very inefficient, uh, environmentally inefficient process. Uh, it, you know, the degradation of waste inside a landfill will emit harmful greenhouse gases. So in general, Depositing waste into landfills is is not a great solution for the environment. So that being said, uh, food represents you know 30 to 40 percent of what ends up in landfills today. So if we're striving to become a landfill-free society or a more sustainable society here in the U.S., then the elimination of food waste is is paramount, right? It's 30 or 40 percent. It's the low-hanging fruit. So you know regulators understand that. So as they, as regulations continue to get passed towards, uh, with the objective of moving to a more sustainable society, regulations around food waste are being passed, you know, regularly. Absolutely. So uh, it, it's a big problem. You know, food has to come out of the landfills. 
uh, there are better ways to deal with food, both from a cost perspective and certainly from an environmental perspective. So, you know, it's an emerging industry. Uh, but, yeah, the, the size of the industry can be enormous, as you can imagine, uh, if you count up all of the, you know, generators of food waste, restaurants and hotels and hospitals and prisons and, and whatnot – and you add them all up, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty big market. My guest today is Frank E. Chelly. He is the CEO of BioHitech Global, Inc. They trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol BHTG. Now, I, I need to ask you this, Frank. I came across this stack, and it's just mind-blowing for me. According to Singapore uh, National Environment Agency, the NEA, the amount of food waste that generated in Singapore has increased by 48% over the 10 years. Now, you guys just recently hooked up with another company out there with the uh, the Flex. Is that, is that the Flex yeah, system? Flexi. The Flexi, Flexi system. Flexi, yep, Flexi systems. That's right. Can, can you tell my listeners a little bit about the, uh, the two parties joining together and what that's going to do for your company? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, we currently operate in 37 states and, and 14 countries. So uh, we've got our technology deployed pretty pretty widely throughout the globe. Uh, and, and where we deploy it are, are typically areas where you know, waste is becoming uh, a bigger issue. And, and Singapore uh, happens to be a market where waste is a real problem. Uh, you know, they have a population density issue, so they're creating, you know, large volumes of waste. Uh, it's a small, um, small uh, area, uh, and uh, they don't have landfills. Exactly. Uh, the only landfill that they have in Singapore happens to be a landfill for ash, which is a small, a small island off the coast. So, you know, where there are areas where, you know, dense population um, and lack of sort of natural resources, mainly land and landfill assets, uh, is uh, is in place. Those are areas where our solution is gonna is gonna potentially be a, a good solution. So Flexi uh, came to us. I think it was about a few years ago, uh, understanding the problem within their own country. Uh, Flexi right now is a uh, is a distributor of, of of sort of wastewater solutions, so they understand the environmental space uh, and they understand what the uh, what the government in general is trying to achieve. So uh, they approached us a few years ago, and we entered into a uh, a non exclusive sort of uh, reseller agreement, just so that we could each sort of dip our toe in the water. We wanted to make sure that that we had a uh, an agent that would represent our product sufficiently. Uh, and they, in turn, wanted to make sure that they had a product that they could stand behind. So uh, we, we worked for about a year that way, uh, had a, a reasonable amount of success, and uh, recently expanded that uh, relationship to an exclusive relationship. So we've now granted Flexi Systems uh, the exclusive licensing rights to our technology uh, throughout Singapore. Uh, is it an enormous growth opportunity? It, it's substantial. Um, now, granted, Singapore is a pretty small country, so you know, put it in perspective, it's it's certainly not as big an opportunity as the United States uh, or even the United Kingdom, uh, for an example. But uh, you know, it is an area that can deploy a significant number of our digesters. I think in a relatively short period of time, uh, it won't be thousands of digesters in Singapore. Uh, the market's just not that big, but. If we could get a reasonable level of market saturation there, uh, you know, and we can increase the footprint of our network connected devices. So each and every one of the units that we deploy anywhere in the world, including Singapore, is now uh, equipped with our bio high tech cloud. Absolutely. So that we can cut, we can see it from the United States here. We can monitor it. We can, uh, we can track performance. We can make enhancements. We can push software. Uh, we can support remotely. So, uh, you know, one of our objectives is 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 to increase the number of units worldwide we've got deployed. But the other goal is to make sure those are network connected devices and make sure we're collecting pieces of data uh, on waste generation from everywhere in the world because we think it's enormously valuable. Well, you know, Frank, you bring up a very good point, and I want to talk about that. You know, I want to talk about competition. I want to talk about how you guys are positioning yourself to be the premier market leader in this industry. Mm -hmm. And so, so, so if you could elaborate a little bit on that, 
uh, what's your competition and how are you guys uh, going to be the premier leader in this industry? Sure. Uh, We look at competition uh, two different ways. Uh, Because the food waste disposal industry uh, is just evolving, uh, you know, there's really not one competitive technology or company that is sort of dominating the space. So uh, we look at it. We look at it twofold. Uh, we look at sort of what we'd call direct competitors who have a product that leverages very similar uh, technology to what our uh, EcoSafe digester does, in that it's an on-site aerobic digestion technology. Uh, and then we look at sort of indirect competitors, which would be sort of other technology offerings uh, like anaerobic digestion, um, if you want to call it technology, composting, uh, and, and there are some other technological developments. You know, uh, there are some groups out there who are marketing products that are allegedly uh, converting food waste into organic fertilizer um, and, and so on and so forth. So, you know, we've got these two buckets. Um, we, we're adamant about the fact that we don't believe uh, the food waste problem around the world will be solved with any one solution. So we don't believe that anaerobic digestion is the solving solution, or nor is our bio high tech ecosafe digester. We think the solution will be um, a combination of various applications. So some cases will warrant our on-site aerobic digesters. Other cases will warrant uh, an anaerobic digestion facility. In some cases, it'll be composting, and maybe others will make fertilizer. So, so we look at competition and, and sort of try to qualify, okay, well, you know, for this particular customer in this particular application, is our technology the best solution? And if the answer is yes, then we'll look at our competitors, and there are three or four of them who offer a, a similar on-site aerobic digestion process, and, and we'll sell our, you know, our value proposition. Um, you know, we are the first movers uh, in the smart digester business. Uh, we're the first movers in what I'd call the smart device uh, movement for waste disposal in general. So you know, we were the first ones to launch a, a management tool, a cloud-based product, in conjunction with a food waste disposal device. In fact, we've got a current, currently have a patent pending for that. So, um, you know, we believe we approach the problem differently, uh, whereas all of the other competitors, the, you know, whether they're direct or indirect, we believe are solving for, hey, here's a better way to dispose of food waste than what we currently use in the United States today, landfilling, let's say. We solve for a different problem. While we might market a very similar piece of technology, the problem we're solving for is it's not how we dispose of our waste. It's how much waste we create in the first place. So with our cloud solution, we attempt to solve for that problem first, right? Because if we can help our customers eliminate the creation of food waste altogether, then we've offered a service far more valuable than just a more efficient means of disposing of it. Absolutely, now, absolutely, so, absolutely. It could be what you're saying is proportion control. Uh, uh, that would give them some that, metrics on that, right? If we if we could help a restaurant customer of ours figure out that their portions are 20 percent too large, and if by reducing that they can reduce their overall food waste by 50 percent, then we've we've created way more value than just disposing of that food waste in general. So it just so happens we do it via using our efficient disposal device. So, you know, while one doesn't exist without the other, uh, you know, we believe that really what separates us from the pack is the fact that we view the entire problem differently. And when we deliver that message to our customers at the Fortune 500 level, it's very easy for them to understand how that's valuable, right? So, hey, you're telling me you can help me identify where I'm inefficient. That's really valuable. Absolutely. Right? Absol- um, absolutely. So, so, so that's really the differentiator between our product and either any of the direct or indirect competitors out in the market today. Frank, we don't have much time left, but in, in closing here, where do you see uh, biotech in three to five years from now? 
So, you know, the the industry in general, as I mentioned earlier, is is still in its infancy. So we're seeing new legislation passed uh, state by state, uh, year by year. So what we would expect uh, is that that trend continues uh, in the U.S. Certainly, uh, we believe that there'll be a stronger regulatory tailwind. Uh, to accelerate growth. So uh, we fully expect that our growth will be exponential year over year as far as deployments go and, and as it impacts revenue and, and, uh, and our earnings, of course. So you know, what we envision is you know, double-digit growth rates year over year um, as, we're seeing, as we're seeing now. So you know, just as an FYI, you know, our first quarter 16 compared to our first quarter of 15, we had a uh, we had a uh, overall growth rate of 64%, with a 37% growth rate in our recurring revenue line. We would expect that trend to continue based on the strong regulatory tailwind uh, and the increased customer demand. So, you know, I should talk about not only are the regulators mandating this, but as we see Fortune 500 companies attempt to get closer to their own sustainability goals over the next few years. You know, we're a solution that will help them get there. So, you know, we've got the perfect storm. We've got a regulatory environment and a consumer environment that supports the growth of all of our product offerings. So, uh, so we're really excited about, about, you know, not only the rest of 16, but, uh, you know, the next three to five years. My guest has been Frank E. Chelly. He is the CEO of BioHitech Global, Inc., I appreciate him coming on the show today. If you want to take a look at his stock, they trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol BHTG. Frank, thank you for coming on the show again. And we're going to check back with you in a couple of months to see how things are going. Yeah, great, Everett. Thanks very much for having me. It's been a pleasure.